New video of the partial collapse of a daycare in Pitcairn. The fire marshal now saying the collapse was caused by water and moisture damage that over time rotted wood and rusted steel. Our Shelly Bortz talks with the Pitcairn Borough Fire Marshal and has more now live. Shelly. Yeah, Alvin Hussey tells me as soon as he walked inside here after the collapse, he immediately spotted areas with water and moisture issues that he says deteriorated over time and led to the structural collapse. It was very scary. It was around 930 Sunday morning when Mecca Raid was leaving the house to walk her dog. She says she heard a loud crashing sound and when she looked down the street, all she saw was smoke. And I looked out the door. Sure enough, the roof collapsed on the daycare. When she realized it was the building that housed the Dreamers and Achievers daycare, she thought about her granddaughter, who would have been there had the facility been open. I was grateful, like, you know, that no children were in there. If it was the same time today, children would have been in there. Lavette Malloy Smith, who owns the building, tells me she's grateful no one was in the daycare at the time of the collapse and that she was able to relocate most of the children here to the Wilmerding location, including Raid's granddaughter. And made it possible for parents to go to work and do what they needed to do. Crews began tearing down the building almost immediately after being deemed unsafe. I talked to the fire marshal who says the collapse was a direct cause of water and moisture damage in the vacant part of the building. Due to that, when you have an increased weight of water, you know, from rain or weather or aging of the roof, when it's not properly maintained or if possible may need a replacement, you have sometimes a, a, a structural collapse. And that's what we had there. The owner tells me she's unsure what she'll do with the lot here once it's cleared and the basement is filled in with dirt. Reporting live tonight in Pitcairn, Shelley Bortz, KDKA TV News.